Guys, we've been waiting, waiting, waiting. We're finally here with the amazingly talented Michaela. Michaela, how are you? Welcome to Tel Aviv. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm extremely happy. Very well. Thank you. What a crazy experience for a lady of such a young age. How are you taking it all in? Good. You know, um, I think X Factor has helped me a lot, you know, to go through competition and stuff like that. So. I'm doing well. Well, we have to talk about X Factor because obviously that's the reason that you're here. It feels like about two years ago that you first <laughs> stepped through those doors and did your audition. Tell us what's happened since then. What have you been doing? It must have been a crazy experience yes, so far. Yes. Um, obviously, we haven't stopped working because, you know, I wanted to deliver something extremely good. So, you know, from the day after I won X Factor, you know, everybody started working on the Eurovision. Do you feel any pressure at all? Um, Obviously, I think everyone feels a little pressured because, you know, you're representing your country, half of the world is seeing you, so there would be a little bit of excitement. But, you know, even if it's 10 people we're singing to or half a million, we have to do in, every, in any case. So. Well, you look like you're handling it very, very <laughs> well. You look really at home on yes, stage singing, yes. singing this song. We have to talk about the song as well, obviously. Yes. Tell me about when you first heard the song. Did you instantly connect? Yes. Did you know it was the one? Yes. Um, from the first note um, that I heard, Chameleon, I knew I had to represent my country with it. Um, it's so fresh, it's so young, um, and it, it feels like, you know, it's kind of, you know, because I'm also young, so it's like me in a song. So I, I wanted to do something like that for Eurovision. That's basically it. And uh, when, the, when the song was released, yes. I mean, everyone was waiting for such yes. a long time. You kept waiting, Michaela. Yes, a lot. You must have seen some of the reactions because people were going wild for this. Um, we had to um, wait a little, you know, but when you see the reactions, like even yours, I saw it. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, the, the look in their eyes, that even the video, they liked, the video was liked a lot. And so when you see that all the hard work, finally, and we worked a lot, everybody worked a lot. And when you see that everybody, you know, is having fun watching it, it makes you feel proud that you haven't worked for nothing. It was all worth it. So it makes me feel extremely happy. You should be proud. It's oh, yeah, such a name. such a modern song. Like I said, you look at home on stage. You're such a talent. Thank you. Um, we've been watching you through the rehearsals. Yes. We've seen all the staging now. How much input did you have into what was going to happen on stage? Um, obviously, um, everyone so even like the choreographer or the people who did the graphics and um, we all had meetings and stuff like that so they all kind of revolved they i like them a lot because they they think of the artist first so like they tell you do you like that do you like that and i tell them what i like and then we all you know everybody gives their input and you know we deliver something extremely good yeah well i mean it's exactly what we wanted the fans yes. it's bright it's colorful, colorful. Yes. you're allowed to be yourself yes. um, and you're enjoying yourself on stage so it's great to see we're going to talk about maltese fans because yes. i always say that maltese fans are the craziest eurovision fans yes. in the whole of in the whole of europe exactly. how much support have you been getting back home it must a be lot, insane a lot and i think you know people like them keep me going and they want they want me you know i work even harder for them they make me even prouder to be maltese they just make me do even better, you know. Do, I mean, do you have a message for your Maltese fans? Uh, thank you, extremely a big thank you for all the, your support. Um, it has been an amazing experience and it's all because of you. Um, it's just amazing. Thank you all for your support. Now we know that if you win Eurovision, there's going to be like a Michaela statue public in Malta, holiday, uh, public holiday. <laughs> um, we want to find out a little bit more about you now as a person. So obviously you're very young, but what's the craziest thing you've done while you're growing up? Any mm. kind of accidents that you've had? I'm actually extremely quiet, nobody knows, but I'm really, you know, not shy, just quiet. I like to keep from tantrums and stuff like that. I don't like to do crazy stuff. Not on stage, you're not, not quiet stage, when that no, voice comes be. out. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's the biggest lie you've ever told? Biggest lie you've ever told? Mm. I have to be careful. I don't know who's watching. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> um, probably like to my parents if I was going somewhere and I didn't go. Like the to a party. Can't watch this in. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> Um, and who's like your musical inspiration? Like if you had to pick one person that you could listen to for the rest of your life. Mm. You've not heard me sing yet, obviously. Yes, so probably I would know. choose you then. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, I have a lot. I have a lot. I really, really like um, Sia, Pink. At the moment, I'm extremely, extremely on Billie Eilish. I mean, she's amazing. She's extremely young. So I think that's what makes me, you know, connect with her more. I inspire to be you know, like them. 
Oh, well, people are going to be aspiring to be like you, we think. You know, you've Hopefully. got a huge career, you've got such Thank a talent. You, Thank you. Um, you showed such a variety, um, a variety of, I don't even know if this is Genres. good English, genres, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> when you were performing through X Factor, yes. and we've supported you. Like Thank I said, you. it feels like about two years yes, since you had does, your audition. It does. Um, now, uh, you've got a little while now until the semi-final, uh, what are you going to be doing in between? Have you got some time to relax? Yes, yes. Um, we made sure that you know when I schedule we have some time to relax for myself and also the rest of the team. Because you know it's good to be focused and stuff like that, but it's also good to lay back and have a little fun. Because it's an amazing experience. Yeah, well, we hope you do because it is, yes. it's, it's a once in a lifetime yes. experience. We can see that you're enjoying it, I am. I which is fantastic. It. So keep that smile on yes. your face. <laughs> uh, we think you're going to sail through to the final. We've loved watching you in the rehearsals. Okay. Um, and we'll keep supporting you yes. as well. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure, guys. It's Michaela. <laughs>